So in this video, we're going to use the factor label method, also called dimensional analysis, to convert from moles to liters. This is really the preferred method to convert between units in science. So the important thing to memorize is that one mole of an ideal gas will occupy 22.4 liters, and that's at standard temperature and pressure. So let's try a problem. Let's say we're given 14.3 moles of argon gas, and we want to convert this to liters. So to do that, we're going to take and draw a line across here like this, and then like this, and we know that one mole of a gas is 22.4 liters. So I'm going to put moles on the bottom, because I want to cancel the moles out here, and liters on the top. Well, one mole is 22.4 liters. So when I do the math here, I'm going to multiply across and then divide, moles actually cancel out, and I'll be left with 14.3 times 22.4 liters, and that'll equal 320.3 liters. So pause for a second, use the example we just did as a model, and solve this one. So we'll do the same thing. We'll draw a line across here, and then like this, and since we want to cancel out moles, we'll need to get moles on the bottom, and we want to end up with liters, we'll put that up here. Again, one mole is 22.4 liters. So we can cancel out the moles, and we'll have 2.4 times 22.4 liters, and that'll give us 53.8 liters. So the key to the factor label method is to arrange our conversion factor so that we're left with the unit that we're interested. In this case, we want moles to cancel out and be left with liters. So let's try it going from liters to moles. Press pause and give this problem a try. Convert 37.3 liters of nitrogen gas to moles. So I'll draw my line across here and then like this. And I have liters on top, so I'm going to need to have liters on the bottom so they cancel out and I want to end up with moles, so I'll have moles on the top. And one mole of a gas is 22.4 liters. When I do the math, see my liters are going to cancel out. I'll be left with moles. So 37.3 times 1, which I'll then divide by 22.4, and that'll give me 1.5 moles of nitrogen gas. So pause and use the one that we just did as a model to solve this problem. Convert 3.2 liters of neon gas to moles. So we'll draw our line. And we have liters on top, so we need liters on the bottom. We want to get moles, so we'll need to have our moles here. One mole is 22.4 liters. See that our liters cancel out. We're going to be left with moles. 3.2 times 1. Divide that by 22.4, and we end up with 0 0.1 moles. The factor label method is really quite a powerful technique. And if you go on in science, medicine, engineering, it's one you really want to master. What it allows you to do is to convert easily between units, and that's something you do quite a bit in science. It may take a little time on the front end to learn, but once you learn it, you'll use it all the time, and it makes you look really smart. This is Dr. B with a little bit about converting between moles and liters using the factor label method. Thanks for watching.